Hello and uh, welcome to the second Cubase tutorial. Uh, this is purely for people who have not been able to connect their speakers to their Cubase so that it doesn't read properly. Um, this is just going to show you probably one of many ways to correctly to successfully install excuse me your uh, speakers. So what you're going to want to do, I'll go ahead and just open a project for a background um, to make sure that the sound and speakers work. Um, so this is basically what your program looks like and what you want to do first off is just either go to your devices menu at the top where the file edit and all that are and you want to go to VST connections which is also F4 so you can either do that or you know you can press F4 on the keyboard um, as you can see here I already have my speaker set up as the Realtek high definition audio um, I've got my stereo which is my left and my right and that's simply what you want to do if you have different speakers it's obviously going to pull up in the menu um, if you can't pull them up in the menu then they're not installed on your computer or they haven't been installed successfully on your computer which you'll need to go to um, uh, which you'll need to go to device manager for so um, I'm not going to show you how to do that hopefully uh, if you need that message me and I'll, I'll let you know about that but um so what you're gonna do uh, if nothing is present and it has none of these working then what you're gonna wanna do is add a bus and you can either do that by going to add a bus uh, this is one of the easiest ways I find is you right click and you go to add bus on the background and you choose stereo and it's gonna pull up your automatic settings and then you have to if these are not set correctly you have to manually set these sometimes it'll say not connected and you need to just simply uh, set the two stereo that are connected to your computer. See these two are my two main speakers. Uh, I'm also running three sets of speakers so uh, mine's a little more complicated but um, so I'll remove this bus because I really don't need it. I have my settings correct. So once you assign both values to the speakers um, you could also do the presets as well to uh, get that working. Um, you'll get it all set and it's done so let's say you've gotten to there uh, you've added the bus and then you exit that remember to make sure double check sometimes to make sure it's still working alright now you select your music uh, file that you have I have turned up by uh, Travis Porter which is yes it's not a good song technically but it has a catchy tune in there um, no talent whatsoever but anyways uh, you're gonna wanna go to edit channel settings which is right here in the E it's the little E button so you need to click on that simply just remove that from your screen you don't need any of that it's automatically set to enable record you want to turn that off and you want to make sure that these stereo settings are the routing the output and the input are both stereos well technically the input doesn't matter in this sense but uh, we're mainly we're focusing on the output so make sure it's set to the stereo that you just set make sure that recording is off so that you can make sure that all this is working once you have that just go um, into your song and play it and that is how you successfully install your speakers um, there's other ways as well so if you cannot get it solved through this just uh, message me and I will see what I can do for you uh, I know this is very simple not very talented or anything like that but this is just basics for people who don't understand quite how to do it by themselves so I know it can be frustrating if you're stuck sometimes and so I just thought I'd make this for some you know people alright uh, thank you for your time this is mystic uh, look for more videos on YouTube